Welcome back to The Road Show. This morning in the buzz brought to you by The Comedy Connection. In a recent survey, only 10% of Americans know their partner's salary. Now, 50%, 15% don't know how much their partner has in savings or what their credit score is. Whereas 27% of Gen Zers keep their credit score from their partner. Interesting. So other common financial secrets include how much debt somebody has, mm -hmm. where they are spending their money, and how many different bank accounts ooh, oh, they actually oh, have. Oh, Look at a that. A Swiss bank oh. account? <laughs> Putting money in offshore? Our, offshore, our Cayman <laughs> Island bank account. Another <laughs> survey found that 30% of Americans prefer a partner with a high salary. Well, who doesn't? And 43% think that whoever makes more money should pay for most of the bills. Which makes sense, right? Okay, but you know, pay for most of the bills. I, I, there are families, there are a lot of people who have like separate bank accounts yeah. and stuff like that. We do not. It's like all, like, look, I, it's everything together. Yeah. And you go from there. Yeah. And you go from there. Do I know how much my, my wife makes? Yes. I know how much my right. wife makes. Does she know how much money I make? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she does, and and because she pays the, you know, I mean, she pays the bills, and she, uh, you know, she does all of that stuff. Right. So it, she needs to know. Right. She right, needs to absolutely. know. She needs to know. No, I mean, listen. I mean, we were together with our partners from a very young age. Yes. So you know, I don't know how different it would be. Maybe if I got married in my, you know, 30s or 40s and kind of had already established myself in my career. Right. But like we were saying before, because we have one account. Yes. I mean, you know, you get a check. It it it, it all it, goes the same thing. What's matter? Matt's is mine. Right. Or it's mine is Matt's. At least that's what I've been it. told happens. <laughs> <laughs> Really sure if that's actually what's going on, or if there's an offshore bank account that I don't know. I know. About. I don't think he has an offshore bank account. I don't. Account. Know. I, I, don't. Might, I don't. So I don't, he's going to keep me around, right? But um, yes, I mean, I definitely think that maybe you know age might come into a factor yes. there. But we were also saying too that if you're going to go into a partnership with somebody, right. it's a partnership. Yes. So you really should be on the same page, especially with finances. Uh, and I also think even with the you know, the credit score of someone who you're with, mm -hmm. I think if you're just dating. Someone, Somebody, you don't need right. to. Know. But I mean, I think if you're if you're going to live with somebody, or it's going to become more than just dating someone, right? And you do decide to get married, mm -hmm. I think you need to know what somebody's credit score is. You probably don't want to ask that on the first date, right? Uh, and, or in how much debt they have, because right. if they've got a ton of debt, guess what, kids? You got a you ton get of it debt. too now. You got a ton of debt, and you're responsible too. Yeah. Now with the Kirby Castle. He has money in many offshore, many offshore, Kirby, many, many no, no, no. offshore accounts. Kirby Incorporated will remain a solo enterprise oh, okay. for the foreseeable right. future for so many of these reasons right, we're discussing right. right here. But, you know, these are important questions you have to ask yeah. if yes. you want to make a bad decision and enter into a partnership with another human. <laughs> what? I'm only kidding. I, I love Kirby. I don't think he is. <laughs> no, I don't think he is either. What, it's whatever works for you. There's no right or wrong answer right. here. Some people like to partner up. Some people don't. I love Kirby Your Enthusiasm. It's back for its final season on HBO, but in one of the early episodes, Larry is still married within the series. And someone says to Larry, you know, you and your partner, your wife, and he goes, partner? <laughs> he goes, more like a rival. <laughs> and I always thought that that was so funny. But uh, yeah, you got to be open about these things, sure. especially like you said earlier, Will, in our Facebook Live Buzz video. If you're going to go down the path together, you got to be aware of these things. Absolutely. You got to have some sort you of stuff. Know. Let's check in with our viewers. Are you hiding any secrets? Oh, I hope so. Let's get right to it. Catherine's up first. <laughs> Audrey, you're going to love this. My mom's trunk was full of stuff. Oh. And my dad went out. She brought it all into the house. Oh, <laughs> that's it. See, <laughs> us, a girl. we ladies understand each other. Uh, Linda, it's an open book. My partner knows everything about me. There are no secrets. There you go. Pete echoes this sentiment. Partner in any way, whether relationship partner or business partner, finances are supposed to be an open book for many reasons. And Lucy closes things out today with my husband and I know each other's social security numbers, FICO scores, and other financial matters. Let's read them out loud right now, everybody. What's your FICO score? <laughs> Thanks for chiming in, everyone. And please keep those comments coming. Follow us at The Roadshow Facebook, X, and Instagram. Leave your thoughts, and you never know, we may read yours, including your social security number right here on the air. Still to come.